No, this isn't blood. It's paint. Oh, look. You have a giant sword. No. It's a bottle opener. You boy, am I thirsty. You know, I can kill for a soda. I'll get it. Man, they are weird. Still can't believe your big plan is to rob the warehouse. Why not? They have tons of money. Hardly anyone was here today. How do you know? Ben's band played this afternoon. <laughs> Look, we're doing this, okay? But my sister is the assistant manager here. Which is exactly why they'll never suspect you. So where do you think they keep the green stuff? The money? No, the guacamole. <laughs> of course the money. Rock and roll. I don't know about this, Lori. It's like stealing from my family. You want to go to Chicago with me or not? Look at all that cat. Come on. Stop. We can't do this. What's the matter with you? Of course we can. We used to do this all the time. I know. I just have a bad feeling. We must have tripped a sound alarm and broke it. Let's go out the back door. Not with the money. Give me that! We can't. You're pathetic. You guys, if Dio's a Miami mangler, he needs help. Why? He seems to be mangling people just fine all by himself. <laughs> he needs to be put in jail. You want to just turn him in? Why don't we talk to him? What do we say? Well, for starters, how about... Stop killing people! <laughs> We're going to the kitchen and calling the cops right now. But Neil's our brother. Do we really want to send him to jail? <sighs> you have a point. Yeah. I'm gonna miss having Neil around. Yeah. There's a $50,000 reward. We can visit him on weekends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait till the night, buddy. Craig, Marcy, and Sue are gonna be so surprised. <coughs> I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, talk to you later. Hey, where do you think you're going? Not to call the authorities, if that's what you mean. <laughs> hey, listen, I need you guys to meet me at the warehouse tonight after it closes. Why? It's a surprise. Can you give us a hint? Yeah, like, does it involve, I don't know, say, death? <laughs> Let's just say you'll never know what hit you. <laughs> so be there, and don't make me come looking for you. <laughs> Look, I know you're mad. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because Marcy and Ben worked there, but I just couldn't rob the place. I'm sorry. What? The Jane Warner I know never says she's sorry. That's not true. Tulsa, 95, said I was sorry after I made out with your boyfriend. <laughs> you never told me you made out with Buck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Face it, Jane, you've changed. I have not. Oh, give me a break. You live in your nice, happy house with your, your comfortable room and your delicious meals. You're wrong, Lori. Those meals are not delicious. <laughs> I don't even know who you are anymore. But I'm the same person I've always been. No, you're not. You're good. That's a horrible thing to say. Face it, Jane. You've lost your edge. You've gone straight. That's not me. Really? Well, whoever you are, I don't like you anymore. And you know what? Neither would the old Jane. Hey, wait, hold up. Why? There's nothing else to say. Yes, there is. You're right. Sometimes I lie awake at night and think, and I don't even know who I am anymore. So what are you going to do about it? I'm going to start acting like the old Jane. Won't the Blakes have a problem with that? Not if I'm not living with them anymore. Hey, isn't that my Metallica t-shirt? If you're referring to the sweat rag that I used to wipe my dirty boots with, then yes, it is yours. You can keep it. So, what are you doing? Packing. Oh, man. Is the family going on vacation without telling me? Again? No. I'm bailing on you people. I never was part of this family. I never will be. Is this because you got busted for curfew? No, it's not that. It's me. I've changed. Man, something must be seriously wrong when you start looking forward to taco video night. <laughs> look, you've changed, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. What do you mean? Don't look at what you've lost. Look at what you've gained. Like, 
being safe and happy. Shh. Wish it were that simple. It is that simple. You live with people who love and care about you. Tell me that doesn't matter. <laughs> Walked into Neil's trap. We're dead meat. I wonder how he's gonna bump us off. We're at the warehouse, Marcy. He's probably gonna serve us a hamburger. <laughs> Sue, why are you all dressed up? If I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go wearing Donna Karen. <laughs> We're not gonna be Neil's next victims. It's very simple. If we stick to our plan, we'll be fine. If not, we'll be dead. <laughs> Presenting the amazing Nil Didi. All right, so I need a volunteer for my magic trick. Magic trick? Wait a second. I think this is a trick. Oh, it's the perfect way for the Miami Mangler to lure his unsuspecting victims. Hey, I said I need a volunteer. That's right. We volunteer. Sue! <laughs> All right, Sue. I need you to climb into the box. No way, Neil Didi. Work with me, honey. Climbing. I'm climbing. the amazing Neil Dini does with his razor-sharp sword. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> no pain. Goodbye, cruel world. I'm going into the light. Oh, look, there's Elvis. Ta-da! Trick, Neil. Him? I'm the one who came back from the dead. <laughs> man, you are one lousy mangler. Mangler? What are you talking about? You're the Miami mangler. That's why you've been sneaking around the house, right? Well, I've been sneaking around the house so I can surprise you with my magic routine. What about when you were covered in blood? It was paint, I told you. I mean, I was secretly painting the box. So you're not the mangler? Of course not. Oh, this is terrible. You think I'm capable of something like that? Well, we didn't really think you were the Miami Mangler. No, no way! Oh, oh. I mean, come on. Oh. You're our brother. <laughs> you, with the sword, put the weapon down! Why? They told us you're the Mangler. <laughs> hey. So you decided to come with me to Chicago after all? No. I came to say goodbye. Don't go soft to me now, Jane. Think about this. I have. And I don't want the crazy life, the partying, the crime. I don't want to run away every time there's a problem. But we always have a blast, you know? No, Lori. It's empty. It's nothing. Nobody out there cares about us. But now I have people who do. They're in my family. They're boring. <laughs> They're not. They're just middle-class white people. <laughs> but I like them. I like eating TV dinners with them. I like watching Seventh Heaven with them. And believe it or not, Yahtzee can be pretty vicious. <laughs> but that's not you, Jane. Yes, it is. I can be whoever I want to be, as long as I'm the one who decides. Well... That's it, then. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. <laughs> so I'm heading for Chicago and some wild party, and woo! I'm heading back home for a lifetime of being grounded. Woo! <laughs> so, uh, take care of yourself. I'll try. Take care of yourself. I already am. Said the marriage wouldn't happen. They said it wouldn't last. Okay, they were right. The big breakup is Tuesday. Your husband looks like a leprechaun. You think? <laughs> then, 
Hunter, but else.